Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here. I'm going to be jumping into some vintage. This is the next vintage league. Ah, I'm once again back on my, my silliness. I'm on Blazing Infect. This is the, let's see, where are you? Blazing Shoal Progenitus deck. <laughs> there's also, there's a Blasphemous Act as well. So the idea is that you use Blazing Shoal. You don't actually pay the mana cost, you free cast it. Uh, you remove a red card with CMC 9 or greater, and it makes your uh, one toughness or one power <laughs> infect creature. You can tell I'm on my game right now. This game is going to go great. Um, uh, either Blighted Agent or Ink Moth Nexus, it makes them lethal. So lo and behold, we have four Progenitus, and we actually have one Blasphemous Act. I mean, there you are, way down on the bottom. Appropriately enough, I have cast this one time <laughs> in Vintage. Uh, versus Monastery Mentor. Actually, this is just here as a tutorable way to go, a tutorable with Mystical Tutor, uh, to go and find something to use for Blazing Shell. Uh, my opponent is on Oach, Oath Breach stuff. Oach, there we go. Uh, it is a uh, an Oath of Druids Storm deck. It uses Oath of Druids, and its creatures are Sun Titan and Sphinx of the Steel Wind. And Underworld Breach, and it can go off with Storm. There's Bolas Citadel, and where are you? There's, uh, yeah, Brain Freeze. There we are. <laughs> there we are. It's always going to be Brain Freeze or Tendrils or both, and since it's a Breach deck, it's Brain Freeze. So, cool! Good times, right? <laughs> uh, that's what I'm up to. Now, I'm actually going first. I'm going to Mull. I do have a blue card for Force of Will, but I don't have anything to advance my game plan. So let's see. How do I do it on this system? We mulligan to seven. Okay, cool. Oh my god. Well, we keep. We we do keep. Keep. Oh, there we go. Keep. I'm glad I get to make a video where I can put this uh there we go. So looking at my opponent's deck, uh, artifacts, 11 of them. It may be worth, no, it's not. There's not any paradoxical outcome. So we'll, we'll put Herkel on the, sorry, it was tabbed out. <laughs> Fair enough. How do I do this now? Uh, see, I'm not used to the new untap here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oops. How do I trying to figure out how to bottom it. Yeah, about that. So where is this options? Need to be, oh boy. Cause I can't just drag it onto here, can I? Well, actually no, wait, I can. Okay. Okay, now let me view the deck. Uh. Uh oh. <sighs> Why is hotkey? Yeah, I was hoping I could open it and manually send it to the bottom. Oops. Okay. Why is that? Okay. Good to know. Let's let's look at some hotkeys here. Why is? Send card to bottom of deck. Watching your fight with Ice Lizard, pretty intense. Yeah, you click it. Okay, yeah, so, um, my Dark Souls playthrough went up today, and, uh, yeah, Crystal Lizard's fun. Alright. Expand deck. I think. Hey, there we go. Alright. You click it, hover over send to. And then deck bottom. Okay, so it, it, let's make absolutely sure this is the first card before we do that. Yep, yeah, this is the first card. Okay, cool. So send to deck bottom. Please. Okay, okay. <laughs> that didn't. Oops. Take forever at all. Alright, so then we can X out of that. Good to know. So yeah, untaps update. I am uh I am lost. 
<laughs> it's about to actually not matter. Or, uh, fetch makes it not matter anyway. Alright, so click. That still works the same way. Thank goodness. Uh, well, well, what could they do on turn one with no mana against a fetch land? Hello? Alright, there we go. There that went. So now, uh, more? Wait. Find card. There we go. Ta-da! Alright, so we're going to go and get, uh, looking at our opponent's deck list, the lands do not include, there's a strip mine, but there's no wastelands. And strip mine's going to hit a basic anyway, so I'll go and get underground, see? Now. Hello? Hey! It, it took it a sec, but we got there. Okay. Alright, let's see if we're good. Pre your day. It has been a while since I've gotten to play a lot of vintage. It has been entirely too long. How's about that? How's about that? <laughs> Alright. Now, time for more exploring. Uh, reveal the top two. I guess. There we go. Why does it not... Huh. Okay. Ooh! Oh, as much as I want both of those, and man, do I want both of those. Um, we do need another land. Yeah, I hate to say, but I'm probably going to have to pass one of these up, aren't we? So I'm about to draw one. Well, actually, no, we can make it work. We can make it work. We can draw one of them, then draw the other, uh, and use Preordain to try to find... We'll put ourselves a bit behind... But the second preordain should get the job done. Uh, we'll go Progenitus first, uh, because it's easier for us to get Blazing Shoal if they happen to make a shuffle. Alright. And then uh, draw with C. Yep, okay, that hotkey still works. Thank goodness. Alright. And then Pastor. That didn't take forever. Alright. So. Sorry about that taking a hot minute. Looking at some uh, removal, they do have Pyroblast. And do they have any Rebs? A Red Elemental Blast. They have Repeal, Pyroblast, Ancient Grudge for Ink Moth. Okay. And then the obvious Force shenanigans. Uh, yeah, we've got to let them keep this. I don't want to use two cards to deal with one of theirs. I, I can't. Reveal cards. Ta-da! There you go. So, uh, yay for force. Yay for having force of will. Alright. <clears throat> Still, I don't feel too great about this, to be honest. Okay. What you got? Trop. That's a tropical island. 2019 Europe Legacy Champion. Nice. Ooh. Sensei's Divining Top. Ooh. I want to be careful about that, because that's going to make things a little tricky going forward. Um... We'll say that's good. I think that that's alright. Alright. So, untap everything. Draw. We, need, we want to be able to win the war over this preordain, after all. Okay, what you got? Alright, let's see. Let's try this again. Please find a land. Reveal the top two. Why does it even bother... <laughs> I don't know if the... Yeah, you can see. The how many prompt. Ah, oh, well. Ooh. Okay. What's this? A show and tell. That gives me a backup one coin. No matter what, though, we need this on top. So we'll draw the Mox Pearl. Oh boy. Yeah, let's let's try it. Alright, now how do I switch this around? Send to deck top. There we go. 
Because I tried dragging it a second ago and it didn't exactly... It didn't appreciate that. Or... No, wait, this is Oath. Maybe I don't want to have show and tell. Yeah, actually, that that's a little tough. We already have the win condition in hand, we just need to defend it. So actually, I, I do need to uh, send this one down, don't I? Send to deck bottom. Cool. Alright. And then draw. Send that to the graveyard. Banish that to the Shadow Realm. Play a Mox Pearl. Make sure that's okay, because while it feels like a land, it's a spell. And pass turn. Yeah, show and tell against Oath is weird. Makes it easier for them to get actual Oath out, plus Bola Citadel, Underworld Breach, but that's a weird... Let me look at the wording of Underworld Breach. The beginning of the end step. Never mind, so that's not one that they want to put in on uh, on my turn. Okay, that's good. Uh-oh. Yeah, no. If we had Ink Moth Nexus, we wouldn't have to fight over it. But, you know, there's a reason that they're doing it. Oh, jeez. What on earth? Okay, there we go. And then pay the one. Okay, well, they did that for a reason. What could that reason be? Um, they, they might have days. Well, let, me, let me actually look. I just revealed that I have it. Mm, no days. So this was pointless. Well, okay. Then again, they could see that I happen to have some counter magic myself. Alright. Make sure that that's good. Aha! Alright, and then they pitched uh, Thirst for Knowledge. Yeah, so uh, now I'm really missing that show and tell. Oh boy, which I put on the bottom of the deck. Yay, fun. Good times. Uh oh. Do it again, do it again! Find that second oath. You only have two. Merchant Scroll. Yeah, that's a problem. Depending on what's in their hand, I imagine it's probably Recall. Yep, Recall is the, the good... <laughs> you get something like Force of Will if you know that you need to defend your combo. Ancestral Recall or Value otherwise. And sometimes they can get a combo piece. Mental Misstep is an instant. Um, we do want to shuffle here. Yeah. Oh boy. We, we do need a shuffle, unfortunately. To try to get, have a chance at finding that show and tell. With it on the bottom, oh boy. Uh, I'm just going to give them the quick, it's good. Ooh. <laughs> All right, and I'm not sure. Yeah, okay. So that's why they did it. Then they want to hit a land drop. They haven't been using top though, which is interesting. They haven't been doing any top shenanigans. That turn I understand because of ancestral recall. Whoo! Uh oh. Alright, it's not Oath. It's Time Walk. Yep, that's good. Alright, please, on upkeep, Sensei's Divining Top. Sensei's Diving Top. Alright, there we go. Cool. Noise. <laughs> Noise. Yeah, the least important color for them is presumably white. As I take a look at the list, uh, it, you can use it for weird things like casting Sphinx and Sun Titan, but realistically, not so much. Uh, indeed, the Planeswalkers, none of the Planeswalkers have white in them. Um, and then looking through here, I'm a little bit surprised, maybe I shouldn't be, that there's no mainboard balance. Uh, and there's actually not even a, oh, there's no sideboard balance either. 
That is weird. Okay. Jeez. Jeez. Uh, they did pass through, so it's okay, though. It's all right. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that this works. All right. So find a card. We will get... Jeez, Ink Moth, I wish. Ink Moth would be our savior here. Uh, but alas, we can't. All right. It should be... V Let me check to make sure. It should be V to shuffle. V. Good, good, good. Ah, right, there we go. Whoop. 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 There we go. All right. And then draw. Mm. All right, you win 0% of the games where you concede, so let's play it out. But holy crap. It's not looking good. Yeah. Oko, Thief of Crowns, and Oath of Druids. It's a testament to... <laughs> well, this isn't an Oath deck, per se, because it only runs two Oaths, but... You still run the one Oko because value. And also, it's a, it's a good card anyway. I like shutting off my opponent's mana. And in shops, their hate pieces. Alright. Oh, is that a strip mine? God bless America. Ah! So now I need, what, double Ink Moth to get me out of this spot? Or Show and Tell. Show and Tell actually could still do it. No, we're, we're very quickly running out of time on that. Hmm. It made sense in the moment, but in hindsight, of course, I should have, uh, should have kept the show and tell. When you only have two mana, though, it makes sense not to. Also, when you already have the combo in hand. Alright, so let's draw a card. Mental missed it right on time. Ooh. Yeah. You win 0% of the games where you concede, though, so... As you do. Ooh, what's this? Aha! Uh -huh. You remember the good old days of Thirst being restricted? Those were cute. Those days were cute. But then looking at here, uh, two Thirst for Knowledge, so that, that's both of them. Well, the win conditions in the deck are the Blazing Shoal combo, of course. Um, then there's Tinker for Blightsteel. And there's uh, Show and Tell for Progenitus or Blightsteel. Against Oath, it's, it's always scary. You know, something I didn't consider as, as much as I should, though, is that this particular Oath deck, its payoffs are Sun Titan and Sphinx of the Steel Wind, neither of which we're too terribly scared of. So actually, maybe, just maybe, the more I think about it, the more I keep coming up with new justifications for it post hoc, but it's, it's fine. It was, it was probably correct with the knowledge that I had. Well, it wasn't correct, but it, you know. All right, make another food. <sighs> Buddy, Buddy. Mana Crypt. Yeesh. Add that to my list of potential win conditions that don't actually work. Colorless, yep. Nyarset. Hi, Nyarset. Jeez. Okay. Uh, I, I assume that was a misclick. Alright. Yeah, that's good. Oh boy. Yeah. <sighs> All right. I'm sorry. Okay. Nani? Okay. That'll work. Uh. Yo. Oh. Are we? Please tell me we're done. Are we not done yet? Oh, no, there we go. Okay, so we, we ticked her down to three, but we hadn't already gone through this yet. 
I see. Chase. <laughs> Owen Wilson voice. Wow. <laughs> wow. E. I don't know how old you are, Raz Canister. Uh, if if you get that reference, if you know who Owen Wilson is. Um. Yeah. There's nothing I can do before. Since I'm, I'm thoroughly dead at this point. Yeah, so I'm about to go to five. Yeah, no, we're, we're, we're dead. <laughs> Oof. Yep, it happens. <laughs> let's, let's quickly take a look. Repeal, Force, Gush, Pyroblast, Chase. I dig it. Game two? Well, okay. Good times, I guess. Alright. And I'm asking for game two because I have before had someone need to take a, a, like a, a break between them. But I don't think that's the case here. Uh, also, oh, I guess it would be under game menu. Uh, is it okay if we go to game too late? Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> that's exactly why we did that, folks. That game, my parents would like me to watch TV with them. No worries. I'm glad I asked first. Uh, you catch me streaming afterwards. You can catch uh, another game or my streaming afterwards. I don't want to say, um, oh, there we go. Yeah, you got that one. Uh, there we go. I don't want to say, uh, you can definitely catch me streaming, because on the one hand, I don't want to hold my opponent up for too much longer, uh, but on the other hand, I, I don't want to interrupt the stream to finish a, a game either, so we may have to do this on another day. Uh, and if that's the case, well, either way, insert magical effect, actually just insert basic fade from now to later. Hey everyone, I'm back with some crazy wild lighting. So I ended up finding some party lights and I just thought it'd be the coolest thing to try them out. I am sure you can't see me all that well, <laughs> for better or worse, nah, it's all right. Uh, I'm in the process of sideboarding and Untap has, for me anyway, a new sideboard uh, bit. Instead of having the two columns that we previously had, you get to toggle sideboard or deck. Uh, so it'll take me just a quick moment. Remembering that my opponent is on this weird uh, Oath Breach shenanigans, <laughs> this weird deck, I, I w definitely would like to have uh, Graftigger's Cage because it hits Underworld Breach and Oath of Druids. Invariably, I'll have to worry about uh, artifact removal. That means Oko, but it doesn't mean Dak Faden because even if Graftigger's Cage is taken, its effect still applies. So I'll actually be okay with that. Uh, that said, Sun Titan and Sphinx of the Steel Wind should be actually castable. That said, I'm going to take out Hercules Recall, even though there are 11 artifacts out of the deck. I don't know that any of these, except for Bolas Citadel, are, uh, are must answers, must responds. Uh, Tinker Citadel, hitting it with Hercules Recall, actually is pretty substantial though. Um, especially since Grafdigger's Cage doesn't make it where artifacts can't enter the battlefield from graveyards or libraries. So maybe I should, um, now there should be Echoing Truth, ah, there it is, Echoing Truth. So that's what's going in instead. Let's see, Energy Flux seems okay. Now that makes a little bit more sense, an Energy Flux. But now we have 65 cards and we need to take out 5. And that's always a problem. Now, Preordain is my usual go-to uh, in a matchup like this. Let me make sure, where's Imperial Seal, actually? Because this deck should be running one Imperial Seal. It is. So we'll take that out, as much as I would like, uh, I'd like to have it for comboing. Uh, let's look for any other absolute dead cards. Just absolutely does nothing cards. Show and Tell is awkward in Oath, but I still need to keep it. Hi, YouTube! Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yep. You were in my uh, my stream earlier too, so I. Uh, it's cool to have you around, bud. I can also take out one progenitus, but I wouldn't go any further than that. Uh, demonic consult dismember. This is a bad matchup for dismember. That's right. Yeah, unfortunately, that's just how it is. I'm on the play. It's tough for me not to have all of the copies of Force of Will. To the extent that I'm fighting a combo deck, Force is a little bit less important. But I would like to actually have something to use against my opponent's counter magic. Uh, it's, it's so tough. Since I'm on the play, I think I'll actually take out three of the Force of Wills. I get one less card anyway. This keeps one Force of Will in case I need to tutor it up. And it allows me to hang on to all of my preordains, so that I can find other combos and reload. Other combos meaning uh, Tinker into Blightsteel, Show and Tell into Big Dude, or Blazing Shoal and Pitch Guard. Uh, since I'm on the play, this I think that this might be right. We'll find out. Okay. And it's shuffled for me automatically. So... Hello? Hello? Oh, you have to actually do this bit first, don't you? Draw two... Okay, neat. And then hit seven. Oh yeah, we have to do this bit again, don't we? Alright. Uh, since I lost the last one, I get to... I elect to be on the play. And this is fine. We have Show and Tell, Preordain, uh, Fast Mana, Vamp Tutor. This is... yeah, this is great, actually. This is... Awesome. Keep. Make sure that we're good. Ooh, my goodness. Make sure that uh, Raz, aka Canister, aka uh, what was your name in chat yesterday? Jasper? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'm assuming that none of those are real names. Especially since ja Jasper was in all caps, right? Alright. It's Jasper something something. Okay, so this time you're taking a mall. Ooh, okay. Uh, lo siento. Oh, I feel that. Keep. All right. Um, and we put one on the bottom. Cool. Let's start off with a. I think we'd like to do a fetch land first. All right. So we'll pop this. Ooh. No, we want to do Vamp Tutor, actually. If we, if we would like to get it into our hand now, we need to use Vamp Tutor. Alright, so let's see if we can do this. Find card. And I, I know that there aren't any stifles about which I have to worry. Alright, all the way at the end. All the way down there. Cool. Alright. Play out that Mock Sapphire. Give him the... Just make sure it's a spell, you know, as you do. Alright. I I believe that I would like to go for Vamp Tutor here. I think that that's alright. Basically, we're just going to try to go for the turn 2 KO. Turn 2 win. Uh, actually, let's look at what my opponent... Alright, so we'll, we'll cast this... Now, the pay to life is not part of the cost anymore. Despite what you're seeing on the text, it is part of the effect, like Thoughtseize, uh, oddly enough. So we're going to take a look at our opponent's list one more time. Looking at the sideboard, we have Tabernacle, which I'm not worried about, Wasteland, Flusterstorm, Lightning Bolt, which comes in. So there's a few of these that are coming in. I don't have to worry about Nature's Climb. Uh, Relics, Veil, Ancient Grudge. What am I worried about here, if I go and get Blightsteel? I, not too terribly much, I believe. Alright, so let's take Blightsteel, find card, and bye. send to deck top. Alright. Hello? That should do it. Cool. Okay, cool. It was the 32nd card in the deck. Alright, that should do it. Now, because that's a Mock Sapphire, we get to do this. Let's see if that works. See if that gets to resolve. This might be risky. A little bit. Alright. So, let's scry two. Uh, I said scry two. Reveal top two. There we go. 
And then I still have to hit... I will figure that out eventually. No, 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 no. You, uh, you go to the bottom, please. Send to deck bottom. Alright. And then... Duro, Monstercado. And tell my opponent to... Go ahead. Yeah, we don't need another land. I think that we're good on lands. He says right before he draws another land. Alright, Misty. Alright. Land, crack, fetch, take two. Wait, this is vintage. Although, I have actually done that. I played shock lands and vintage and went 4-0. So that was fun. Let's see. Uh. Nope, we're good. We're good. Yeah, at least we need to represent that we might have something. Uh, we'll draw. I called it. I freaking called it. Alright. Let's go. Let's go, folks. Crank ourselves down to 16. Uh, him? Oh! Did it not... My bad. My bad. There we go. There we go. Let's find another one. At this point, we'll just get a second underground, see? Man, what I would do for a way to get uh, Ink Moth Nexus out... Is that as far as it goes? Yeah, I have another underground sea in my hand, so yeah, the underground sea is the last card. Interesting, that. Uh, and since Vampiric Tutor's already been used, that would normally be after it, but, you know, as you do, I guess. Blip, 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 so yeah. Alright, this is, this is risky. Sorry, misclicked. What'd you do? Moved one card from hand to deck. Oh, uh, did you draw it back? At least, oh, drew, drew one and then moved it back. It's okay. Alright, what is this? Oh, I see. Alright, now how do I... How do I do this? Send to face down pile, I guess? Well, that's weird. That's a weird way to do it. Alright. <laughs> Yay! <gasps> Yay! We got we got kind of lucky. Although with this deck, since they can't get a Grizzlebrand or an Emrakul, we're not too 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 terribly worried about it. All right, so they're gonna spend it on top. Uh, no response. All right, here goes. Here goes, and we don't have to worry about Bolt. We don't have to worry about a Braid. We don't have to worry about just about anything coming out of their deck. Looking through here one more time, just to make sure. Now that it's resolved, Counter Magic's right out. What do we have to worry about Oko? But what do we have to worry about other than Oko? Is that actually it? Because, uh... None of the rest of these... At this point, even Energy Flux isn't enough. So I think it's Oko or Bust. Alright. Pass it right along. Find that one Oko. I, I dare you. I double dog dare you. Land Oko, destroy my day. Well, Mana Source Oko, okay, this is vintage. Destroy my day. Destroy target player's will to live. Alright. Reveal cards. What can you do? Here we go. Alright, get it. Oh, you didn't use uh, top before then. Although you did it at the end of your last turn, so never mind, That that's fine. Uh oh, so they got the land. Do they have the one Oko? In those four cards, do they have the one Oko? Let's see. Uh, after this gets taken out, there will be 49 cards. So four out of 49 are the. That's the probability here. Okay. Okay. What you got? Uh oh. Three. No! I knew it! <laughs> uh, how do I... How do I... Click... Add note... 
sad 3-3 three, three elk. <laughs> what of coming in clutch? I, I, I hate your deck so much. No, it's fine. It's fine. Well, okay then. In that case, I guess, uh, Rar at Oko. Okay. okay, well they have Strip Mine, so this isn't going to do all that much, but I guess we'll do what we can. We st Even though that's the card that's not revealed, we still have to play it, I think. We're also pretty far away from the combo. Alternatively, I could have used a fetch land, but I'm saving that fetch land for Ponder or Brainstorm. I am not using that until I have to. Uh, we can use it for deck thinning. Uh, that's not where it's at right now, though. God, Oko. One of Oko. I mean, that happens. This is vintage, where even if car even notwithstanding restricted cards, Oko's not restricted. You still play a lot of bullets because you have so many ways to draw to them. Or tutor for them. Good god. Good god. Well then. What are we doing here? Uh oh. Recall? Brainstorm. Uh, yep. <laughs> Not anything I can do about it, so... I can understand drawing for it immediately. You see my hand, after all. In response, activate Ink Moth, just so that I can lose it. Let's not. Say we didn't. I guess I could use that to try to bait my opponent, but that would be a little bit too obvious, right? If if uh, Canister just makes a food token... Well, no, I mean, now with the Moxin, you can just turn one of them into an Elk, and then Blightsteel and the Mox will trade. Uh, I can deal one to Oko at a time. But even then, I can't do that because of Strip Mine. Well, now I can. I get one turn. Fire Spout. Are you f are you freaking serious? All right, so it's just three damage to a non to each creature without flying. Boop. All right. Uh. Trigger, because uh, once it hits the guard, it's no longer an elk. All right. Let's put it in here. And whoa. Okay. Wait. 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 Make sure. Make sure. Uh, yeah, it's not an elk in the... when it hits the graveyard. When it leaves the field. Yeah. So you still get the trigger. It's the same reason you would get this for Emrakul. Um, so I understand just making sure. Let's, let's make sure that uh, Canister's, Canister's cool with that first. Give it, give it just a quick little second. Give me some time to uh, have some coffee. Have some coffee. I mean, I, I know where the... Huh. Did you know if your opponent Oko plus ones your... Okay, this is a weird thing in English. I hate turning nouns into verbs like this. If your opponent Oko's your up, then kills it, the Colossus will sti still sit in the graveyard and won't be shuffled in the deck. Uh, citation? Meanwhile, if you Elk and Emrakul, it'll still shuffle in your graveyard when it dies because graveyard from anywhere. Oh! Oh! Okay, I'm, I'm very glad that I, uh... We went over that. The, the text is actually different, then. Uh... How do I... Draw to play. There we go. Would be put into a graveyard from any... No, Blight still says the same thing. Where did that go? Okay. If you Elk and Emrakul Eon's Torn, it'll still shuffle your graveyard into your library be when it dies, because graveyard from anywhere triggers. Only look at the object once it's in the graveyard. But if you Elk a creature with a regular die... Graveyard from anywhere. Graveyard from anywhere. Uh, I, I hate to say it, but I don't think that Twitter is necessarily the best source for this. 
Let, let me let me double check real quick. I may uh, pull up a. Let me get the field pulled up here. Okay, Oko Blightsteel. Maybe there's a page on MTT Judges. A Manifest Blightsteel Colossus goes to the graveyard. What on earth does that mean? Oh, Manifest! There's a, a missing vowel there. Alright. Go to the graveyard with the blah blah blah. Blightsteel cart. Blightsteel Colossus is top card of deck. Why do we. No. Crap. Upside down, blah 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 blah. What happens next? Blightsteel Colossus either shovels into the deck as a replacement effect or it goes to the graveyard. Okay, this person isn't answering the question. Aha! Here we go! No, no. Replacement effects must exist before the appropriate event occurs. So, uh, this is from the uh, Comprehensive Rules. This is 614.4. Replacement effects must exist before the appropriate event occurs. They can't go back in time and change something that's already happened. Spells or abilities that generate these effects are often cast or activated in response to whatever would produce the event and thus resolve that... Alright, one moment. One moment, please. Uh, reading. Alright, cool. Uh, this is not the same with Emrakul the Eon's Torn. Now, I'm not looking at Emrakul, so I, I don't have the exact text from Emrakul here. Leaves the battlefield abilities trigger when a permanent moves from the battlefield to another zone or when a phased in permanent blah 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 blah. These are written as, but aren't limited to, when this object leaves the battlefield or whenever something is put into a graveyard from the battlefield. An ability that attempts to do something to the card that left the battlefield checks for it only in the first zone that it went to. An ability that triggers when a card is put into a certain zone from anywhere, so like Blightsteel, is never treated as a leaves the battlefield ability, even if an object is put into that zone from the battlefield. Is never treated as a leaves the battlefield ability, even if an object is put into that zone from the battlefield. Okay, Emrakul will get revealed as it goes to the graveyard, then hit the graveyard, then it leaves the battle- Oh, Emrakul has- does it say leaves the battlefield? Blightsteel doesn't have a trigger, it has a replacement effect. Okay, I, I, this is this is interesting. I'm learning something new. I am learning something new today, folks. Wow. Uh, today I learned. Yeah, Emrakul says when it's put into a graveyard from anywhere, its owner shuffles their graveyard into their library. Okay, uh, good times. I did not remember, for some reason, I was thinking, uh, no wait, that is a trigger, and Blight Steel is a replacement effect. Yet, today, today I learned Emrakul has a trigger, but Blight Steel has a replacement effect. Okay, I'm going to be completely honest here. I'm actually not... I'm still not sure that I completely wrap my mind around this. Um, I think if I look over it just one more time, I think it'll I think it'll click for me. But actually looking at the comprehensive rules helps out with this. Replacement effects must exist before the appropriate event occurs. Because it doesn't have an ability, it's an elk with no abilities, uh, it doesn't have the appropriate text, the replacement effect, when it would go to the to the graveyard. And thus, while it isn't an elk while it's in the graveyard, it didn't have that replacement effect to allow it to go somewhere else. And so, since it can't go back in time and change that, it just gets to chill out max and relax all cool. It gets to stay on break. Spells or abilities that generate these effects, blah, 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 blah. Okay, well, that happened. Uh-huh. Uh... Now... Now I know. And... Knowing's half the battle. There we go. Alright, so on to my turn. Let's make sure... Actually, yeah, let's make absolutely positive... Yeah, pass turn to me. Okay, cool. Woo! We're not dead yet. We're not dead yet! Tis but a scratch. Actually, it's significantly more than a scratch. A little bit. Oh boy. 
Okay. Wago. Oh boy. Technically speaking, this sucks. <laughs> That's a very technical term. Alright, so if we hit Oko here, put Oko to 3, then play Blighted Agent, or I guess we'll do, uh, they're tapped out. We'll, we'll do Blighted Agent first. It doesn't matter. Uh, but if Blighted Agent does get turned into a measly little 3-3, three, three, then actually Oko will die. 3 plus 1 is 4. That's not what the opponent's going to do, though. I have a sneaking suspicion that's not what's going to be done. I would be exceedingly surprised. But you never know. You never know. Make sure that this is all good. I don't want to crack that fetch land, but I kind of would like to do some deck thinning. But if I, if I wait and I draw a ponder or a brainstorm, it'll be worth it. Likely. It'll likely be worth it. Okay, let's see. Uh. Boop, boop. <laughs> Bop. 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 I think that you have this one, but I need to play it out. Yeah, that'll do it. The, the Oko. Dad Oko. Oh, yeah, yeah. There we go. And if I remember correctly, the card that they accidentally drew and put back didn't couldn't have made a difference because they didn't do anything before they drew a card again. I could be wrong. Maybe they did. I don't know. All right, that's an elk. Sad baby elk. <laughs> All right. I haven't drawn yet. Yeah, let's just take a risk here. The only other land I could get out anyway is a basic island. Watch it be... Okay. Well, huh. Yeah, Strip Mine will kill this Ink Moth, and that's to be expected, I guess. Alright. Make sure we're good. Good to go. <laughs> In other words, beginning of combat. Fire! Alright. Oko to one. Alright, let's see if we can win on the Oko beatdown plan, right? Or something like that. Alright. As you do. Alright, and then pass. I'm assuming with one card in hand and not enough mana for Force of Will that it's it's gonna make it. It's going to be just fine. Alright. Oh crap. Oh crap. Alright, Sphinx. That's not good. Now, yes, uh, Ink Moth or a uh, Blighted Agent is unblockable, but not for long. Also, this thing has first strike, so I can't use Blazing Shell to get past it. I no longer have a viable win condition in the deck. Uh, this thing flies, and as long as Oko's out, it can keep turning Blighted Agents into uh, little boys. Little elks. So yeah, we have officially lost this game. <laughs> I suppose it's technically possible that I could win, but realistically, not, not really. I, let's see, I can get Echoing Truth? That would be a, a way out. And this is an artifact, so had I kept Hercules Recall, I might have the kill. 
Huh. You might have the kill. Oh. Oh, Breach is in the yard. Well, I mean, okay. Don't have the Sun Titan yet. The Sun Titan turning on Underworld Breach is silly. In the best possible way. Alright, let's see. What do you have? Oh, they have it in hand. That, that makes sense. Okay. Black Lotus getting rid of one, two... Go off, Chief. <laughs> I like to see it. Anyway. There we go. Alright. Mana time. Blue mana. Blue kitty mana. I tried, folks. <laughs> I tried. They needed Oko. Actual, factual Oko to get them out of that spot. And they found it. Oh, you might not... <laughs> If not, at least you have a... it's a 5-5, five five, right? 6-6. Six, six. In the air. Into air. I do that when I'm typing quickly. I, I get the E and the H backwards. Brainstorm? Okay. Okay, let's go. Alright, can you find the memory lap Or, uh, brain freeze. Memory lapse. <laughs> what a day it will be when memory lapse gets played in Vintage. Oh my goodness! I kind of want to try- no. 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 Let's not say we didn't. Please. For the love of God. Okay. Found our land. Fetch. Filled the yard. A little bit more. Only seven more to go. Alright. Hmm. Okay. I guess they could fire off another Brainstorm here. And actually, Black Lotus for blue, blue, blue. Uh, fire off Brainstorm. Or, no, no, you can just use this. That's right. It's a Tundra. Despite the weird-looking border, that's Tundra. Alright, so they pop the Lotus. Presumably making blue, blue, blue. Just to make sure. Red, red, red. Oh, okay. Alright, that'll work. Firestorm. Yeesh! Yeesh! <laughs> Yee <Yeegy> gesh! <laughs> oh my goodness. Is that all? Is that all? <laughs> Whale. I mean, we'll keep playing, I guess, just in case, you never know. Why Fire Spout instead of something like, I guess Anger of the Gods has the problem of double red, so no, that's the answer. That's the answer. There's not a great deal of flying that shows up in Vintage. Every now and then you'll see something like Delver. Obviously this thing flies, but this isn't what you... <laughs> This doesn't care anyway. Isn't a vigilant? Vigilant. But uh, yes, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And also lifelink. Also that too. Hey, there we go. We got there. <laughs> and first strike and flying. This thing is silly. In a good way, I would say. I would say. Oh, are you freaking kidding me? Oath trigger. I forgot that last turn. I missed that last turn. Okay. Oops. Alright, well there's only one more creature we could hit aside from Blighted Agent. Uh, so let's... Uh, how do I do this? Uh, draw to discard? That's a weird way to do it, but okay. Here. Can I drag in? No, I can't. 
crap. Alright, let's see if there's a... It is a May, but ye. Oh yeah. That's my bad. <laughs> no take backsies. I should have known. I should have remembered. Yeah, I, I want to make it clear I'm not asking for like a take backsie or something. Yo. Okay. No, we just have to do this. Alright. Discard. One? Hey! Thank God. Okay, cool. Alright. Draw? <laughs> no. No, we're good. Okay, well there's the other progenitus. Uh yeah, we're we're passing the turn. Okay, you can't use Oko on that. At least. Thank goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Thank good. Can't do can't do any Oko shenanigans. We're we're dead. <gasps> oh no, I might have actually won this had I missed it la had I gotten it last turn. Oh no! No, wait, no, they're at 21. Never mind, it didn't matter. It didn't matter. Ignore me. It didn't. Ignore me. Because uh, we would need three swings with Progenitus. Even if I had remembered it, you had enough, enough life to hold me off anyway. Dig through time, jeez. Um, I mean, once again, I'll keep playing. But, jeez. Jeez. Okay. We'll, we'll keep playing because we might come across Echo in Truth. So, do I need to intentionally miss my Oath trigger here? I mean, I guess... It doesn't really matter. Um, there's nothing that I have that can get a card back out from the graveyard. And I'm only going to hit either another Progenitus or a Blighted Agent. Which doesn't really make that much of a difference. So we'll, we'll intentionally miss the trigger here, I believe. I believe. I'll actually fire off the Flooded Strand. No! Still keep it around for the Shuffle. For the Shuffle. All right, uh, but even if I find Blazing Shoal, it actually doesn't matter because Sphinx has First Strike. Like, all you have to do is just attack me twice and hope I don't come across Echoing Truth or Detutor. And now it doesn't matter, you've got Counter Magic. You can hard cast Force of Will at this point. Oh yeah, I do want to miss the Oath Trigger. Uh, so that they don't get an Oath Trigger themselves, and then get Sun Titan. Because that would be fun. That would be really fun. Okay. Dak is fine. There we go. This just keeps getting better, folks. Gets better all the time. Oh, what on earth could I possibly have to get me out of this? I need Echoing Truth for Sphinx. Uh, or I die. Echoing Sphinx or bust. Or Echoing Sphinx. Echoing Truth on Sphinx. Oh boy. At this point, I guess Energy Flux? But that's... no, not really. That would get rid of their Moxin, but they would just pay for uh, Sphinx every turn. They would get rid of their Moxin and their food tokens. Yo. Oh, oh we're attacking. Okay. Because of Vigilance. Yeah, next turn I'll have to block with the Ink Moth. Uh, protection from red and green. You know, as you do. Alright, so had I done it last turn, uh, we still would not have been able to uh, keep up. I can do 10 with Progenitus every turn, and Canister can, ga ah, can gain 6. That means I'm doing a net 4 every turn. 
uh, with the final swing of 10 being able to break that. That's fun. <laughs> Can I draw some of these cards, please? They're in my deck. Well, Merchant Scroll isn't. I have experimented with Merchant Scroll in Blazing Infect, but since it doesn't get any combo pieces, the answer is no. I swear to God. Do you? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was looking to see if they happen to have White White for Sun Titan. Uh, what was the tapping out for? I missed that. Clone cute food. Yes, indeed. That fat cat. Alright, here goes. Alright, don't draw island. Anything but basic island. Okay, D-Tutor. That's a thing. D-Tutor's okay. Alright, let's fire it off. Um... Oh! Well, it didn't matter anyway. Okay. Alright, that's gone, baby, gone. Uh, uh, ahem. There we go. It worked. Got there. Also, the pitch here was peak. Interesting. Uh, it works. Don't get me wrong, it works. What is it? Don't laugh, it works. Uh, we'll just target source. Hello? Target source. Um... Thinking. My temptation is to say Oko. Uh... Thinking. Oh, jeez. Thinking. My strong temptation is to say Oko. Ah, uh, boy. Man, oh man. It can't even target Progenitus. It can't target anything that I control, except Mock Sapphire. I don't know how much I need to worry about that then, to be honest. And even then, Dak can take Mock Sapphire anyway. I don't think that Oko is what I care about. But, with a life total that high... Maybe I do. Oh, man. I don't know. It... I think it's right to hit Oko, just to try to get rid of that that source of potential damage coming forward. We're at the point now where, turn one of these into a creature, attack, I go to one, even if I block with Ink Moth. So yeah, we are going to target Oko. Yeah, that that's right, that's right. Okay. Um... Let's go. So the D-Tutor failed, that's a problem. Uh, we still have the same number of creatures, so no uh, no oath shenanigans. It does mean that I would have hit the D-Tutor one turn earlier, which may not have made a difference. Alright, what you got? Swear to God, is it Jace? No, oh, we, we, untap we untapped. Tinker! Oh, you didn't drop, not a food? Not a food token? It doesn't matter, but it's all good. Uh, yep, no resolve. And now that Oko's gone, they, they can't turn into creatures anyway. <laughs> no worries, I have zero room to judge. Oh, zero. I have zero room to judge. Oh my god. Oh my god, you stop that. <laughs> ah, you stop that. Right now. Bullet Citadel is fun, kids. Yeah, and both Underworld Breaches are in the graveyard. Not that it makes that much of a difference at this point. Holy crap, though. Alright, so yeah, they haven't played a land yet, so there's the land. 
Please have land land. Please. Pretty please. Oh boy. Wait, I can just attack. <laughs> yup. <laughs> I, I recommend that first anyway when you're when you have Bolas Citadel shenanigans. Unless there's floating mana or something. Got a style. <laughs> oh yeah. Kool-Aid man, probably. Probably. Got a style. Indeed. Go, you go style. Now, uh, just based on what we see on board, it's not qu Oh, I see what's going on. I see what you did there. Uh, Bola Citadel. Sack 10 non-land permanents. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh boy. Oh boy. We can use Brain Freeze just to get a new look at the top cards of the deck. Uh, what is this? Uh, Counter Brain Freeze. <laughs> Universe Brain. <laughs> Universe Brain over here. <laughs> this is entertaining to watch. I'm getting destroyed. And that's okay. <laughs> Alright, what's the next? We have a, another card on the top? Uh, I, I admit, I don't actually know why the... Oh, jeez. Are those Shark Typhoon? Those are Fluster Storms. The art kind of reminded me of Shark Typhoon. <laughs> why, Lisa, why? <laughs> You are tearing me apart, Lisa. Okay, you're you're a kid in high school, aren't you? Uh, I don't know for sure, but he said something about like, wait, you can just block. True, but only for a turn. Yeah, double fluster storm is also <laughs> a little bit of a problem for me. A little bit. Shake it. Shake it real good. Uh, first strike. Yep. Yep. Because that's what I'm going to do, after all. No minus one, minus one encounter. Yep. Yep. That's silly. <laughs> Oh, this is some top-tier magic. That card is a Billy Mays commercial. You may also not know who that is. He's been gone for something like 10 years, I think. But wait, there's more! <laughs> All right, uh, we're still not going to crack that fetch. If I get Basic Island here, I'm going to cry. No. Oh, okay. Pay off. Pay off. Ponder. I can't use Blazing Shoal targeting Progenitus anyway. Even if... Oh, boy. Here we go. Fluster Storm. Alright. Pay two. Make. I'm gonna make you do it. Paid. Make, I'm going to make you do it! <laughs> From 25 to 30... What? What on earth is going on? Mental freaking misstep. <laughs> ah, who cares? GG. Double counter. That was... Ooh, blah, 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 blah. That was wild. <laughs> I dig it. I hope that we get a chance to play again sometime. Get a chance to play again sometime. 
Dank gave me the deck. I see that. This looks like a Dank special. D dank Catfidant, or a uh, Dank Confidant, Dark Catfidant, whatever, uh, is... <laughs> yeah. He's really freaking good. He's won something like six of the last seven Vintage Leagues. The guy has quite a streak going. And for reference sake, there have only been... ten, I think, if that many. <laughs> Alright, that was... That was fun. So the dude's good. Uh, I take the dude's word on it. That'd be very fun. A as for me, I have to play Bruise, and I really like this deck, and I think it's pretty good. But what am I supposed to do against the one of Oko that shows up? What are you even supposed to do against that? <laughs> Thank you. You as well. Oh, four. Cool. <laughs> Adios. Oh, jeez. Already left. Oh, no. Oh, no. Alright. I'm gonna leave it as uh, canister from last time. Uh, don't record, because we already recorded him winning the last one. So keep it even. Alright, that's it. Uh, hopefully we'll do better next round. Hopefully. Maybe. Crossing Fingers, Hidden Dragon. Generally, blue matchups like that, blue value matchups, are, are the hardest for me to deal with. Especially when they have some removal already in the deck. I, uh, I forgot to show or to ask how sideboarding went. Don't! Don't! Alright. Oh well. Sorry. See, I'll see if I can catch him on Discord, say something to him, ask him about that. Alright, that's that's it. Take care, Magic Community. I guess I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.